About a year ago, we did a review of the SL88 Studio, which is a budget-friendly MIDI controller that lots of worship teams use. Now that some time has passed, we thought we'd do a follow-up on how we've enjoyed using this keyboard in the studio, for video shoots, and on stage at church. Talk about any other options that might be out there, if there's something that's better now that wasn't available, and lastly, whether we would still recommend it for your worship team. Let's check it out. Okay, so we shot our review video initially because we were setting up a new keys rig for a local church here in the Des Moines area. And I had had an SL88 studio in my home studio for a little while before that and had been impressed. So let's just start off with a quick recap. It's got a fully weighted key bed, hammer action, uh, a very minimal face on the top. It's all metal construction and the key bed feels really great. You've got lots of ports and control on the back. And right now, the price is about $529 USD. It's built like a tank. It's beautiful to look at. It's very simple. And over the last year, we've lugged this thing to conferences, trade shows, video shoots from one sound designer to another, and it has held up very, very well. The construction is super high. The key bed still feels great, continues to impress. So on that front, it's only good news. Now, when we did the last review of this keyboard, tons of people left comments saying, you have to review the M Audio Hammer 88. And we did. It's about the same price. It's very similar in terms of its quality and construction. The keyboard is also fully weighted hammer action, and it feels very similar. It's also quite a bit bulkier and has a rounded top. We left that review video saying, you know, it probably comes down to a matter of personal preference. I prefer the flat, sleek surface of the SL88 Studio. I also found that this key bed is a little bit more to my preferences than the Hammer 88 but the Hammer 88 was also very well constructed. And the one pro that I think the Hammer 88 kills the SL88 on is Hammer 88 has an actual full-sized mod wheel that feels really great. And with the SL88, you just have these smaller joysticks. It's definitely an adjustment to get used to using these. Although I will say, since we've released the Sunday Keys app, I've more often found myself either using the mod wheel in the app itself, or even simpler, programming the mod wheel to my snapshots so that they automatically transition to the position that I want it to be. So I got used to the joystick and I also find myself not relying on it now as much as I used to. I do have to give a shout out to one innovator in our Facebook group though, who 3D printed a mod wheel shell and placed it over the top of the joystick. I haven't tried that myself, but Way to not take no for an answer. That is impressive stuff, my friend. Now, since our last review, we've also been keeping an eye out for other new entrants to the market, other maybe even lower cost alternatives. And while we did find one keyboard on Amazon that was advertised as fully weighted keys and was under $300, we did a review video on that one as well. And spoiler alert, it was not very high quality and we did not recommend it for your worship team. So as of the time of shooting this video, it seems like like just around 500 or just over 500 is about as low as you can go if you want to buy a brand new fully weighted 88 key MIDI controller. That being said, there are some other options that are a bit more expensive. The Arturia Keylab 88 has a lot of buttons, knobs, and faders, and some drum pads, I believe, on the front face and a fully weighted keyboard. One of the sound designers here on the team, shout out to Joy, owns a Keylab 88, and she said that she does not prefer it to the SL88 or even to the Hammer 88. She also said that she doesn't find she makes very good use of the faders, knobs, and buttons because she often ends up using software instead anyway. So for the higher price point, unless you really need all of that, or if you're a big fan of the Arturia brand or some of the other software that comes bundled with the Keylab, we don't know that we'd recommend that route for most. There's also the M-Audio Hammer 88 Pro, which is an even higher quality weighted key bed and has built-in controls on the top face. Now that, again, that's more expensive, but if you do want that hands-on control in the same level or higher of key bed and construction quality, 
that is an option. But all of those options increase the amount of budget required. We haven't found any options other than the SL88 Studio and the Hammer 88 that fit in that sweet spot around $500 to $600. That being said, if you're watching this video because you're considering buying a new keyboard, if you have an old school workstation keyboard or something at church and you like the way it feels, you just don't like the way it sounds, you can use software like the Sunday Keys app running on your iPad or you can connect to a computer and use those things to update the sounds and still have the great key bed that you love on your workstation keyboard. So in that case, you wouldn't need to buy a new MIDI controller at all. You could just use a very inexpensive MIDI cable or a MIDI to USB cable to connect to your software. So if you came to this video looking for our recommendation on whether or not you should buy an SL88 Studio for your church, I think if you're in the market, if you like the minimalism of the construction and you value 88 full-sized, fully weighted keys, we would absolutely still recommend the SL88 Studio today. It's very responsive, it feels great to play, it looks simple and elegant on stage. It's easy to travel relative to its size, and we think that we're able to play very expressively and dynamically. So we'll put a link in the description to our previous review video, to the review of the Hammer 88 as well, so you can check that out. That's a great keyboard too. And we're gonna end this video by showing you some footage of me using this keyboard to control the Sunday Keys app. So you can hear how much I'm able to articulate and express myself dynamically from this great keyboard controller. Now, of course, anytime we post a review video, we wanna hear from you in the comments with what we should have been reviewing instead. So leave a comment and let us know what you'd like to see us feature next. Thanks for watching this video. Check out how I'm able to control Sunday Keys using the SL88.